Спектр Бонхан Владимирович, Диа Марина, first of all, my appreciation to Pierre Faber Company for that contribution and work for this purposeful, purposeful politics, for social politics of the company, the patient-oriented therapy. Okay. статического рака молочной железы, Марина блистательно осветила и даже нарисовала нам портреты пациентов, кому бы мы могли бы предпочтительно назначить данную терапию. Но мы взглянем на, эту, на этот вопрос с точки зрения... So we shall uh, study this effect since uh, due to that basis that is presented in uh, both Russian and international guidelines. Now metastatic uh, breast cancer is, we take that it is a chronic disease, but the main significance to our patients has maintenance of life quality. For long years, our patients won't live not only long, but also with good quality. Hence, uh, this criteria of efficiency, they acquire more and more, more, and more significance. There is a lot of uh, principles for such treatments. And uh, during short period, during short period of uh, treatment and, and second option is addition of uh, anti-tumor drugs of small doses using less toxic regimens for long time intervals and what new that we have now that is maintenance therapy therefore I would like to be much appreciated to Italian School of Mammologists. They were first uh, at the start, at the beginning of adjuvant therapy. And Maria Casanigi is an adept of metronomic therapy. Uh, in this condition, uh, therefore, much my great appreciation. <laughs> And it is already proven, and there is an evidence base now that we may introduce mineral bean either intravenously at the dose here shown, or it, it is uh, it is equivalent to 60, 80 uh, oral administration and it is quick uh, it is well shown that encapsulated uh, forms of the preparation of the drug are preferred and those recommendations that we have now first of all recommendations from USA from European ESMO our Russian guidelines Rome uh, the tell that uh, cho 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 of chemotherapy depends on uh, the type of tumor, on malignancy potential, on individuality of the patient, on comorbidity, and preference of the patient should be also taken into account. Uh, we should give this information to our patient the whole scale of information. Uh, for example, if the patient has a uh, breast cancer, how uh, both uh, HIR2 uh, hormone resistance tumor, all these patients uh, should be administered chemotherapy. And European Society of Oncology in this year NBC4 will be this year. Uh, it is in Portugal under the auspices of Fatima Cardoso. 
And this therapy uh, is a good option in metastatic breast cancer, hence we give an opportunity to our patients to survive this disease when controlling it uh, after high dose therapy. We did not do it in all cases. In cases of two or three component therapy, uh, same criteria of efficiency with respect to longevity of the patient. It, uh, it is, however, characterized by progressive deterioration of somatic state of the patient. But after fourth, fifth, sixth uh, therapy of monotherapy, that allows our patient to survive for longer time. ABC3 recommendations 2016. They tell us that the patients who got antracycline and who do not need additional chemotherapy, this patient may be administered vinyl bean. Uh, and this, this mode of therapy is now uh, in the first, uh, the, takes three, in, in three top positions of treatments in these cases. Uh, we told before about triple negative breast cancer. We told about hormone insensitive. If we tell about HIR positive breast cancer where we uh, use target therapy uh, which affects receptors, uh, and when effective blockade of HIR to receptor, here combination with trastuzumab and taxan could be combined with vinyl bean. But in this case, vinyl bean may be used not only in peroral regimen, but it may be used also in metronomic mode. Hence, we, uh, uh, our principle, our strategy is sometimes to change the uh, combination partner, I mean drug partner. Hence, in case if the mechanisms of antibody-dependent toxicity, uh, antibody side toxicity do not work, uh, vinyl bean in both as intravenous or encapsulated form is uh, preferable to the breast cancer patients. Vinyl bean could be administered in capsules and uh, one time in three weeks. It is uh, included now into the standard of patients. What concerns metronomic administration? That is the treatment which, the treatment which is now widely applied in our clinical practice. <clears throat> Any patient with breast cancer could get this treatment, metronomic treatment, I mean. But uh, uh, um, due to such clinical situation which may occur uh, in, uh, in, in chemotherapy, in case if we do not have, for example, windows access, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, install port on the vein. And in this situation as well, peroral therapy with vinyl bean and hemcetabine also, it also takes, uh, have some, some significance. Uh, and metronomic therapy, a place for metronomic therapy is now strictly determined. And that is for those patients who do not need uh, so urgent response to the therapy. And that uh, this treatment is not for several days. Uh, if there is no uh, no need for urgent response, uh, then one of options is cyclophosphamide with methotrexate and metronomic treatment uh, of uh, gemcitabine or vinyl bean is in the same role. Hence, we would uh, your trials may be registered. 
and these regimens uh, with Weiner Albin, uh, Weiner Albin takes his uh, important place. Uh, we may we may uh, administer therapeutic lines with trastuzumab and uh, cytotoxic therapy. We may also prescribe vinerolbin or taxans. That is the issue: is how to optimize the sequence of this therapy. The beginning since uh, 2014. No, we realized that no drug used in, uh, in in such therapies they didn't show they didn't prove its efficiency in patients with extended breast cancer uh, in mona therapy there were no direct comparison between different drugs hence other option therapeutic options may include hemcytabine and or platinum Besides cisplatin, carboplatin, vine, vine, albin, ispapillon, and so on, and and this should be based on the results of previous therapy, therapy, on the specific toxicities, on comorbidities, and so on and so on. Uh, this year, this year there are new recommendations. Each year they are revised. And uh, based on uh, international randomized studies, uh, a recommendation from two, 2016. Uh, this treatment is administered to the patient with uh, estrogen negative, HR negative uh, diseases, uh, hormone insensitive, or hormone sensitive with. Uh, with some high risk uh, signs and, and then first line therapy of uh, relapsing or metastasizing breast cancer. These treatments should be applied person in a personalized manner uh, originating from initial therapy results. And now do add you want therapy of course. No, the the one should one should have in mind what regimens should be taken. Twenty five milligrams uh, uh, intravenously or per oral herbs at certain doses. Uh, this eight to fifteen, and then up to eight milligrams uh, one time weekly. And now we have an opportunity to perform a metronomic administration. The patient gets as capsules first to, to day, day one to day 35. It's, that depends on his, uh, in case of uh, toxicities or extended disease. Hence, Vineralbin is an effective combinatorial partner in uh, this appropriate therapy and it found its reflection in Revenerilbin is recommended as a dose of 25 milligrams daily and day 1 to 8. Hence, uh, the results of treatment in breast cancer of Revenerilbin that was shown in different studies. We see it with, with uh, slowly progressing breast cancer and with visceral crisis of breast cancer but we have no opportunity in case if we have no venous excess and when the patient insists on avoidance of venous excess uh, then we have appropriate uh, so for, for HR positive breast cancer, we uh, give gemcitabine plus trastuzumab, and and uh, we have shown that oral uh, oral administration is maybe as efficient as intravenous administration. Hence, is pain in patients with triple negative breast cancer with with, with slow progressing forms. We can uh, prescribe peroral forms of vinyl bean. It it 
And it could be used in trepanosomiasis. That depends on the special characteristics of of this person of his disease. In case of aggressive triple negative breast cancer, we understand that uh, moving to other type of therapy in the, and in early relapse when anticyclines may be used repeatedly uh, and if there is uh, when maximal tolerable do dose is achieved and uh, when without uh, appropriate effect we must uh, move to another type therapy uh, or not the first line it may be taxans vinylbin etc however for triple negative breast cancer we also have opportunities for administering this therapy uh, it is proven by a lot of uh, big evidence base and meta analysis and by Maria Kazaniga, and we have performed a big analysis of our data, of our experience, and at present time, at the 21st century, uh, breast cancer, and patients with breast cancer should live for a long time and with good quality, hence it is a chronic disease, and uh, more and peroral treatment with these drugs, including Vinderelbin, is of importance to, to make the life more, um, to like to be, give better quality to the, of life to the patient. And last year, uh, for Nikolai Nikolaevich Petrov, uh, he, Nikolai Nikolaevich, he was founder of our oncology. He was 140 years, could be 140 years old. And now, uh, anniversary of our, of our institute, Petrov Institute. Thank you for your attention.